Hey guys, thanks for joining me. The holidays are once again upon us, and uh, that means like last year, I'm gonna be doing a couple of giveaways, maybe, maybe three or four of them over the next few weeks. Starting with today's giveaway that has been generously sponsored by Pecron uh, to give away a brand new E1500 LFP power station, which if you happen to see my recent video, maybe I think it was just last week, about top power stations of 2024, that was my pick for the best overall in the large power station category. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you the information on how to enter for a chance to win that very cool power station. And just to be clear, Pecron is not paying me to do this video, but they did provide the power station so I could produce that video, and that is why you would have seen that paid promotion banner that just appeared up there a moment ago. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get on to the main topic of today's video, which is the Pecron E3600 LFP and how you can actually expand the 3600 LFP setup to provide 240 volts of split phase output. And to do that, we'll need a second 3600 LFP and the Pecron 240 volt connect box like this guy right here. And by the way, if you're able to get in on their Black Friday deals that are going on right now, you should probably be aware that they've got the E3600 LFPs now priced at a jaw-droppingly low $1,359, which is far and away the lowest price that I've ever seen on a power station with over 3,000 watt hours of capacity, let alone one with a five-year warranty and all of the features that this thing is packed with. Shut up and take my money. Oh, and I should probably mention that the E3600 LFP was also my top pick for best overall in the extra large power station category. And that was before I knew about this crazy sale price. But when you combine two of these E3600 LFPs using the connect box, you'll end up with a total of 7,200 watts of continuous AC output at 240 volts and up to 30 amps, and a base total battery capacity of about 6,100, I think, and 44 watt hours. Since each of these 3,600 LFPs has a 3,072 watt hour capacity on its own. And be aware that you can add up to four additional battery expansion modules to each of these 3,600 LFPs, giving you the ability to expand this system to over 15 kilowatt hours of capacity on each 3,600. So in combination, that would be nearly 31 kilowatt hours or 31,000 watt hours of capacity if you max the system out. And that's enough capacity to provide at least several days of emergency backup power uh, for home, even before adding solar to the equation. Okay, so let's see how easy it is or not to get this set up up and working. All right now, according to the manual, it does say you have to first turn the units off. I've already got the top one off. Let me go ahead and shut the bottom one off. All right, and then it says that we should take the communications cable, which appears to be just a standard Ethernet cable. I'm not entirely sure if the uh, if the wire pinouts are the same or not, but it is an RJ45 connector, and that is located under this little panel here. So I'm going to put one on the top, and then one on the bottom. And then this parallel box has uh, two TT30 or RV30 plugs on it, which correspond to the two RV30 connectors on each of the units. So this will give our 30 amp 120 fold out from each side. And hopefully when we turn it on, it'll recognize the communication cable and we'll see if there's a green light there because that will tell us that it has already put it in split phase output. So let me get, let me get these cable wraps off. All right, so it turns out the hardest part was getting those little plastic protectors off these plugs. Probably the hardest part anyway, let's find out. So let's plug one of them into the, uh, the bottom port. And then the other one into the top one. All right, let me go ahead and turn on the AC output for both units. All right. I'm hearing some relays. I'm switching this display over so it matches the other one. All right, I'm showing one watt on each uh, power station in terms of output. And if we take a look at the little box here, I don't, probably, this probably doesn't come out, but there is a very faint little status green light on here which says OK. And uh, if I were to check the voltage on that, let's see. Switch to voltage, switch to AC, and let me just do across the lead one and lead two. And we are getting, if you can make that out, 239.8 or 240 volts. So we're definitely getting 240 volt split phase or I wouldn't be reading that number across those two outlets. 
what I find interesting is that there are two what appear to be 20 amp outlets on here. And this is obviously an L1430. Uh, so L, so it's got a locking uh, mechanism. So you push it in and lock it. This is a 30 amp L14 240 volt output. Uh, this, these are 20 amp and typically these are 20 amp 120 volts, but this says 200 to 240, just like this one. So I wonder if these uh, little plugs on either side are actually 240 volts, which I, I would be surprised, but uh, maybe they really are. Let's take a, take a look with the multimeter and see. Yeah, so those little plugs on the side are also 239.8 volts. So we're getting 240 volts out on all three of these outputs on this box, which I find a little bit interesting. I'm not sure what uses this three-prong style in a 240 volt. Uh, if you happen to know, please fill me in because I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. All right, I decided a better sort of more practical use case than just charging my EV would be to go ahead and connect this to my manual transfer switch, which is feeding my sub panel. So I should be able to power pretty much this entire sub panel, or at least the uh, 16 circuits that I have uh, allocated there. And I can hear my furnace starting to kick on right now. And you can see it is pulling off of the top unit since it is running off of 120 volts. There, it's finally kicking on. You see we spiked up to a little over 800 watts and now we're running a consistent 615, 618, something like that. And again, this is just off of uh, one line of the two uh, 120 volt lines. The second one is not being taxed at all. And that's because I've only turned on, on my manual transfer switch here, my water heater, which will, uh, which will tax both lines, and then my furnace. So I could pretty much run everything else, but I don't really have any other thing, any other loads running right now. So let's see if we can get the, uh, the water heater to kick on. It's an electric water heater, and it should pull somewhere around 5,500 or so watts, and it'll divide that evenly between both units. All right, let me go ahead and fast forward to when I can get that water heater running. All right, we do have the, the water heater on, and you can see on the bottom we are pulling 2,700 watts, 2,738, and on the top we are pulling 3200 watts and that is because I'm also running the furnace so this dual E300 LFP stack is running both my gas furnace and my electric water heater at the same time pretty cool and this is as I said 6.1 kilowatt hours of battery capacity and even without adding solar uh, this is enough to get you a good couple of days especially if you try to uh, you know to ration your power use just a little bit couple of days of use under reasonable conditions so and of course like I said you can expand this thing significantly as your budget allows so very simple setup and you know if you're not sure how to install one of these I do have a video on how to install a manual transfer switch you should of course have an electrician install this if it's a required in your area or B you don't have the comfort level and uh, skill set to do it but it is fairly straightforward easier than you might think so if you if your particular locale does not require a licensed electrician to install one of these go ahead and check that video out I'll leave it in the description below and you can uh, see if it's something that you might be comfortable tackling but like I said if not because of the voltages involved you don't want to mess around you don't want to burn your house down obviously uh, if you have any doubts at all have a licensed electrician help you out and they are pretty straightforward and easy to install but that allows me to then hook up something like this with a standard generator cable into here and then uh, switch over whatever circuits I consider to be important at the time. And I can turn those other circuits off. Okay, the furnace just shut off and so we, now we have an even distribution. Up here we have uh, 2735 and down here we have uh, 2755. So almost an even distribution. So yeah, definitely doing its job. This little box here is really all that's required along with that little communications cable that it comes with. Very simple setup, but very effective. So to wrap up with some final comments before I get into the giveaway details, if you're thinking about investing some of your hard earned money on a power station, if you're like me, you wanna ensure that you get something that gives you the most options to do with whatever it is that you wanna do with it. And these Pecron E3600 LFPs 
are simply the most bang for the buck on a portable power station that lets you start, you know, relatively small with a very solid 3072 watt hours and a high output 3600 watt inverter that's still portable enough to take with you on the go, but then also gives you the ability to expand the system a little at a time if necessary to a very competent whole house emergency backup power solution. It's simply the best all around value that I know of right now for a product like this, especially while these crazy Black Friday deals last. So if you're in the market or even thinking about being in the market for something like this, I think this is definitely the way to go. And per usual, I will put links below for you so you can go check these things out for yourself if you want to. Okay, let's talk about that Pecron E1500 LFP giveaway. And by the way, when I do these giveaways, I always get people who are skeptical. So I'm somehow just trying to collect their personal information or that there's some other catch uh, to it that's going to cost money. And I can tell you there's genuinely no catch and there's no cost. It's completely free and neither me or Pecron is going to be collecting your personal information. Unless you are the winner, in which case we'll at least need some of that information so that we can get that power station to you. So here are the three easy steps that you need to complete to be eligible to win. Number one, uh, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And then number two, leave a comment below on this video and include the words re-ray every day. And it's important to include those exact words because that's what my random comment selector will be looking for when I'm selecting winner. Oh, and also because I just have launched a new YouTube channel called Reray Every Day, where I'll be posting content that is a little bit more focused on things like DIY projects, uh, EVs, outdoor adventures like travel, hiking, kayaking, and other topics that I find interesting to talk about uh, along the way that aren't specifically related to you know, portable power and solar solutions that I talk about on this channel. And so the third and final step to get entered into the giveaway is to use the link that I've put in the video description below to jump over to my new channel and subscribe to Reray every day as well. And you'll probably notice while you're there, there's not a lot of content up there yet, uh, but I'll be adding new content pretty regularly. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's about it. Do those three things and you're officially entered to win the E1500 LFP power station giveaway. And uh, that's selling right now, by the way, for about 620 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. So I'll be doing the drawing on Saturday, December 21st, and then I'll post the winning commenter on a community post. And then, and this is probably the most important, if you are the winner, I'll reply to your winning comment directly with instructions on how to claim your prize. And you'll know it's me and not a scammer because my reply will display my name, like this guy right here with a rounded highlight around my name. Any replies that you get that do not look exactly like this are not from me. So things like this, for example, this is not me. This is a parasite scammer. But again, this, this is me. And I will not ask you for any money, not for shipping, not for anything. And as I said, this is a completely free giveaway. But you might want to also enable the notifications for YouTube if you haven't already done so, so you'll be notified when and if I comment back on, uh, on your comment to let you know that you've won. And that's important because you'll only have a week to reply and claim your prize once I notify you before I then have to redraw for a new winner. So check out the details in the video description below uh, that'll give you a recap of, of all of that that I just went through. And I do wish everyone good luck. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'll be doing at least a couple more giveaways over the next few weeks. So please do join me for those as well. So I do thank you for watching this video and also for helping maybe jumpstart my new channel a little bit. And I do hope you'll consider joining me again soon on both channels. And until then, happy holidays, everyone, and have fun out there.